Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these Stouffer's Melt Fools. This one is the Cheddar Bacon Tomato. It says it's cheddar cheese, bacon, and diced tomatoes with ranch sauce on thick cut Italian bread. That sounds really cool. Made with real cheese. It said it's hot and crispy from your air fryer and it's new, but um, you can also do these in your microwave. Um, it is 6.6 .6 ounces, 189 grams. Um, we bought these at Meyer. They were $4.99. I'm sure they're around other places. That just happens to be where we saw it. They may not be at other places. I don't know. That's just that's the only place we've seen it at. Uh, it's 530 calories for the sandwich. And there's your other info. And let's see. So if you're going to do it in the air fryer, it says it makes a crispier bread. There's the directions for it if you want to do it in the air fryer. Of course, we're not doing that. We're going to do it in the microwave. We're going to open the carton along the perforations, flip the empty box upside down, just like you're making a pizza or one of those pizzas or whatever, to create a platform. The silver server should be facing up. Remove plastic overwrap and paperboard. Place sandwich halves open face directly on the carton silver platform in microwave and cook for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Then remove it, uh, fold sandwiches halves together, which I do not, and allow one minute to set. So let's just see what they look like first. Let me turn it down. I generally, when I've made these in the past, and it's been a long time since I had one of these, honestly, um, I do not, I leave them open face because I do not like them together. Uh, but we'll see how the toppings on this, if they, they only have toppings on like half of it, then, then um, of course I'm gonna close it. These boxes never open right. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that's plenty, plenty good enough. So let me pull this out. So you want to take your package and just flip it over the box and flip it over to where you got the, like this little stand, just like that. And then you want to open your sandwich. And it's on this like little paper tray, but we don't want it on there. We want to slide it off there onto the silver. So let's put that there, put that there. Pick up any toppings that fall off. There's a lot of cheese in that bag too, so I'll probably go back and get the cheese off. We don't want to lose any cheese whatsoever at all, if we can help it. Yeah, and since there is bacon and tomato and cheese and stuff on both sides, then I will leave mine open because I always thought they, they kind of hurt your mouth a little bit when you uh, put them together and they're kind of thick. These might be different, but we'll see. I'll be able to tell you uh, once I get it um, microwaved and put together. So yeah, just get your get the crumbs out of the bag because you don't want to miss any of these. And I will probably put this on top of a paper plate as well. So I'll put the whole box and all on top of a paper plate just in case the uh, cheese wants to run off the edge because sometimes it'll, it'll run over or whatever and you don't want it to get all over the microwave. So I'll put a paper plate just underneath of it. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave for two and a half minutes and I'll be back. Okay, right, so here is the sandwich out of the microwave. You can see I put it on a, a paper plate. Um, and like I said, I don't generally like to put these like together. Like normally you're supposed to flip them over together. They're so thick that I just don't enjoy eating them like that. So what I do is I take them and I put them on my plate together. I mean, uh, separate like this and I will just eat it like this. It does feel very soft, the bread does. So they were saying the, the air fryer gets it crispy. I don't think this is gonna be as crispy, but uh, it still feels pretty decent um, texture-wise. Let's see if it got toasty on the bottom at all. No, not really. It's a little, it's got a little bit of a, of a crust on it, but it didn't get like brown on the bottom. So the air fryer would definitely uh, crisp it up a bit. I mean, get that in the garbage. So uh, I'm gonna take this over the table and we'll give it a try. I let cool off for just a minute. Um, I tell you what you smell is it almost has a, I mean, you get the, the tomato and the bacon, but it almost has a, like a garlicky kind of smell. Like it's got some garlic in there. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's, it would be way too, look how thick that is just by itself. If I were to double that up, it would make a heck of a thick sandwich, but it would be, it's just easier to eat like this. So I always leave mine, um, when I make these kind of panini kind of breads, I also always make them uh, open faced. Then it said it had a ranch sauce. Yeah, the ranch sauce. I bet you that's what I was smelling. I said it smelled like garlic. I bet you it was the ranch sauce is what I was smelling. 
it's good. The bread is very soft. Not like mushy or wet or anything, but it's soft like you just got out, uh, a loaf of bread, just opened it up and got it out. You can see a little bit of that ranch sauce in there. I tell you, what, most of the flavor I get is of the ranch sauce. Yeah, you get a piece of bacon by itself. It has almost like a country ham kind of flavor. But um, if you don't get a piece by itself, you just eat it all together. I'm really just tasting the ranch sauce mostly. I'm really impressed with the amount of cheese they give you too. So they give you plenty of sauce, plenty of cheese, um, quite a bit of bacon. I mean, there's bacon all over it. I think this other has has more tomato on it and a little less cheese. There's a lot of tomato on that one. Let me try that one. Um, and the edges of the bread got kind of crunchy and a little hard. Not dried out really. So it's not like... Um, like Hot Pockets and burritos and sometimes they'll get that really hard, especially on the ends. It's really, really hard. It's really crunchy and it's like, you can tell it's just like really overdone. This is not like that. It's just, it's more just crunchy, kind of like a toast. Mm. And both halves have the ranch sauce. Both halves have the cheese, both halves have bacon, both halves have tomatoes. So there's really no reason to put it together because that's plenty thick enough just to eat. And it's also going to last you longer um, if you eat like this. It's a little, makes your fingers wet. Um, I don't know if that's the sauce or just, just wet. I don't know. I can't tell. It doesn't feel greasy. Um, I like the flavor of this. I like the textures a lot. Um, although if you do want it like more toasted, 100% put them in the air fryer. I think it'll be a lot toastier. Um, you could probably achieve the same results we did in the oven. Although it's going to take a lot longer in the oven than it would in an air fryer because basically the air fryer is just a little oven. Um, I don't mind it in the microwave at all though. I like the softer texture of bread. I like the um, the texture of the breads, the texture of the cheese. I like it like this. So if it did have a little uh, toasted crust on the top that'd be good too but I'm fine with it in the microwave um, so texture wise it's fine just know that the edges do get a little um, a little crunchier a little harder than the center of the bread but you know it's just that's typical toasted bread um, it's not really crispy on the bottom so just know that uh, flavor wise it's good I like the ranch sauce and that's a good thing because that's all you really taste um, the cheese probably makes a difference. Like if you were to not have any cheese here at all, you would probably notice a difference, but you really don't like, I don't really taste like, Ooh, that's a good cheese. You know, I don't get that. The same goes with the bacon and tomatoes. I really don't say, Ooh, that's a good bacon or that's a really good tomato pops of flavor. I, you don't really don't get any of that. It all mixes really well and evenly, but the primary flavor is the ranch sauce, which is good. Um, I'm going to give these like a, for, for this kind of sandwich, I think you get quite a bit of food. It was $5 though. Um, you get quite a bit of food for this. I think you could probably do something like this very similar on your own at home if you wanted to. But uh, I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. I'm, I'm even, if some of the other flavors had been bumped up a little bit higher, like I really tasted the bacon, or if I tasted the cheese and, and the tomatoes and stuff, if I really tasted those flavors, I would have probably given it a four. But as it is, uh, three and a half is about all I can give it fairly. So, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.